Cash bill for the oversight. No one will answer. Except the government people. Because the people seem to forget the power. Time. 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 Join me over here. All of praise in Hanan and Glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem Rakaha Kandash. Eda Bohana to the elder and apostle for guilty miss on who do well and who taught us this one hundred percent truth according to the scripture. Peace, blessing, and salutation to you, Aki. I'm pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of this spiritual war to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on yes again. It is <coughs> another lesson of the day of edification. See? Concerning uh, the foretold uh, peril uh, uh, which shall come upon the face of the earth, you see, the foretold uh, peril uh, uh, which shall come upon the whole earth, you see. And uh, there are so many prophets uh, uh, which speak about the foretold peril. But today I'm going to touch on specifically about the famine, you see, in which uh, uh, when you look at the uh, food supply chain in which Esau have established, uh, you may think it is nearly impossible uh, uh, for this whole uh, world to undergo a, a food crisis or a deficit uh, in the so-called food. Here you have everything which is going on, which is the locust. Uh, the same thing, UN, man, the beast, which is the beast came forward and predicted a global famine because of them locust. Uh, why? Because they cause the so called uh, a deficit in the supply chain. Uh, here you have uh, what we call the global stability uh, concerning uh, uh, trade, uh, commerce and a different traffic, you see. It needs a certain balance so that life here on earth can go on. If you have a deficit, it means the whole system will collapse. You see, and here the UN, again, they are telling you, they are predicting a famine, man. You see, and this, this is, all of this is witchcraft, man. This is, all of this is encouragement and witchcraft, man. And the Lord put a spirit on Israel to come forward and tell you, uh, uh, Perilia's time are coming, man. Isa is telling you uh, it will take only five years. No, man, we are here to tell you, man, uh, uh, this is the end of be all. So this second Ezra, man, 15 verse 5, it says, Behold, says the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, I will bring plague upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For weakness have exceeding polluted the whole race, and as their heart free walk are fulfilled. Therefore, says the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching the weakness which is a profanity committing, neither will I suffer them with those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous bride cries unto me. Who, who, what is uh, those people considered to have, uh, uh, to be righteous and, uh, and, uh, and have innocent blood, man? They elect, man. And when we go over there in the highway and the byway, we cry every day, man. We cry to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, our power, man. To avenge us, man, to put an end to this weakness, man, because it is very vexing. Uh, here in this society, you can't have even a decent woman. Hey, man, this society is fucked up, man. You can't live a righteous life, even if you try, man. That's why the Lord is going to destroy this society, man. Uh, and here you have uh, Will Smith, Jada, uh, and that nigga, man, they were committing adultery. A mainstream on that element, and that is just one example, man. Uh, what about the thing you don't know which are going on here on the planet? Yes, hey man, this this yes, man, is gone and finished, man. This yes is gone and finished, man. So let's go uh, to Second Kings uh, 60 and uh, verse 25. It says, And there was a great famine in Samaria, and uh, behold, they besieged until and years. A head was sold for four score piece of silver and a fourth part of cub of dove 
dung to five pieces of silver. So the, 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 the dung of a dove was sold for five pieces of silver. I mean, that was a lot of money back in the day. And uh, here you, you, you are eating dung, man. You see? And this was back in the day where uh, there was the abundant uh, 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 food, man. And back in the day, we used it to <coughs> have substance in terms of uh, livestock, in terms of agriculture and all of this other thing, man. Uh, the global commerce back then was more stable than, than, than now. Uh, like now, Esau have made it to the extent that uh, uh, he have uh, made the weak the agriculture economy, which is the, the, the main pillar which supports this, yes, man. See? Everybody eat on instant, this instant, that, instant, that, man. When is the famine hit, man, it will be to the extent people will be turning to cannibals, man. We will see here. And the king of Israel was uh, passing upon the walls, like cried a woman to him, saying, Help me, Lord, your king. And he said, If the Lord Yahweh Hashem or Shai do not help thee, when shall I help thee out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What alive be? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that he may, we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. What is that? Then? That's cannibalism. Man. <coughs> Here you have the people, the mindset of the Babylonians, they think that America is a state, man. See, is a state, a civilized nation, and uh, uh, all of this uh, Christianity, all of this civilization, all of this standard, you see, all of this democracy and whatever, man, is a land of the free, uh, in which the Bible is the rule of the law, in which it is not. They think that the concept of famine, the concept of famine to the extent that uh, people turn into cannibals is a far-fetched uh, scenario. But here the scriptures, man, all the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, and Hashem put a, a, a heavy spirit on the brothers to go uh, through cannibalism uh, because that's what is, is coming, man. And the beast, man, <coughs> the beast, the beast, man, <coughs> the beast is telling you, man, which is EU, man. Uh, uh, the beast, man, the beast is telling you, uh, the EU is telling you, man, there is coming a, a famine, which it is true. How do they know, man? Because they consult uh, the left hand side. <coughs> so, <coughs> see, let me see. They consult the left hand side. Uh, 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 so, so, so they know what's up, man. So, this is Revelation 13 13. And they, he does great wonders, so does he make fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So that is going to the beast, <coughs> not to the EU. See? And that fire was a mainly a, a nuclear missile. He deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth they uh, that they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by the sword and they live. See? That is you, man. <coughs> Telling the people that the famine is coming, and of course, a famine is coming, man. See? A great, great famine, man. See? Let's continue to add on the scripture, man. Scripture upon the scripture. So, this was Genesis 26 and 1 say, and there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the day of Abraham. So, this is a norm, man. You see, the Lord to judge uh, this this yes is too feminine. This is a norm, man. You see, but now people are very very complacent, man. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of Philistine, unto Gelali. You see, back in the days, the Lord used to get down through feminine and pestilence, man. But now, uh, uh, victual are so good, cheap upon the earth, man. Uh, you see, uh, let me see. Let me see something here. Uh -huh. uh, it was second Ezra, as it says, second Ezra 16 and 21. It said, Behold, the victory shall be so good, cheap upon the earth. See, uh, uh, people don't have to think about uh, cannibalism. Uh, these people have no business thinking about uh, their witness, uh, a scenario uh, known as cannibalism, uh, whereas they can walk out of their house. Uh, Five step when there is an instant is this, an instant is this. Uh, take away this, take away that. Let's towel and this, bar this. Uh, they are eating to their full, man. They are fulfilling the last of the flesh. Uh, 
that's the real meaning of victor being so cheap upon his ass because we have seen it back in the day during the, only during the time of abraham and, and isaac man there was a great famine man great great famine and to the extent that people who had substance like abraham they went to egypt to beg you see so that uh, com 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 we should try to comprehend that famine was a great famine because a rich man like Abraham, he actually went to beg to Egypt, man. You see? So like now, Victor are so good, cheap upon his ass. You only see people eating other people in movies, man. Uh, you can't really uh, digest that concept. You can't really sit down and say, one day here, uh, I'll be seeing cannibals, man, and all kind of things. Send is a matter. Uh, Let's continue. That they shall sing themselves to be in a good case. Even then shall evil go upon the earth, so the feminine great confusion. That's what uh, 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 this, all of this predictive program is all about, man, from the UN. They, 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 are, uh, they are prepping you for the coming peril, man, or the coming destruction, if you will. See? Say, and the Lord, uh, let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to Isaiah 51 and 19. It says, These two sins are come unto thee, who shall be sorry for thee. Destruction, destruction, and famine, and the sword by whom shall ye comfort thee. Thy son have fainted, they lie at the head of all the street, as a wild bull in the net. They are full of furies. Of the Lord, the rebuke of God. So the rebuke of Yahweh Hashem Nasha is coming on a major scale, man. And you people will be taken out in surprise, man. <laughs> See? Well, this is Jeremiah 14 and 15. It says, Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the prophet that prophesied my name and thank them not, yet they say, So the feminine shall not be in this land. So this is what this is this is this is this is big a big figure in the Christian. The communities are telling you everything is gonna be good, everything is your light. Don't worry about anything. You keep on sending our tithe. See? By sword and famine shall the prophet be consumed. Even, even you niggas, man, who say all of peace and, 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 and the good and the, all of peace and, and, and the good, man, there is no gloomy and whatever, man. The Lord will take you with your sword, man. See? And as a people to whom the prophecy shall be cast out in the street of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them. Them, their, their wives, nor their son, nor their daughter, for I will pour their weakness upon them. So this is a, a, a big payback, man. See? Every, and everything is the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, man. See? Everything. So you may say that this was talking about the ancient Jerusalem. Look, Jerusalem is a people before it was a press, man. It's a people before it was a press. This is Revelation 18 and, and, the, and the 8. It says, Therefore, shall her pride come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and he shall be utterly burned with fire. You see, it will come like a surprise, man. You see, like a big surprise. He shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges us. You see. Uh, so, basically, the scripture telling you it will be all good until you all hear the goods, man. Until all the victory are taken away, man. You see? You see, until all the victory are taken away. Uh, let me finish with one scripture, man. Uh, I don't want to make this lesson too long. Uh, second verse 15 and 5. Behold, there is the Lord that will bring plague upon the world, the sword, the famine, death, and desolation. For weakness have exceedingly polluted the whole race, and their heartful work are fulfilled. I actually read that. I actually read this, read this at Salak, but it's all good, man. It's, it's all good. It's all good, man. Let me see. It is in lamentation somewhere in lamentation. Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let me see, I'm trying to see something here. It is lamentation 49. It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For this pine away is striking swoop for want of food for of the field. 
so this is going into your body will, will come to extent that it will start eating your protein then your fat your fat then you, your organism eh? that is feminine eh? you see to the extent that you will be ha how 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 does a, a cannibalism happen that is a psychological thing if your body starts eating itself you start hallucinating hallucinating eating your, your arm eh? you start hallucinating eating your neighbor after that you start hallucinating eating your, your arms man that, that, that is cannibalism that's what is coming man if the, the lord yahaba hashem rasha is not with you then you are through man so i want to finish by giving all praise honor and glory to yahaba ba hashem yahashai ba hashem makaha katash na buhana to zeel the apostle from timiston who do well peace and blessing and salutation to you i am pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven and being on the forefront of this spiritual world to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on the earth again. On to the next year, Shalom.